um, the general solution for unsolder ODE is also constructed by uh, two parts. One is the homogeneous solution. The other part is the particular solution. So the general solution for unsolder ODE is also constructed by the homogeneous part plus the uh, particular part. And um, we will first introduce how to solve the homogeneous part. It's very similar as what we introduced before, but right now we will use everything related to matrices format. Okay. Homogeneous linear system with constant coefficient. Because this is the most easy one. So for the homogeneous linear ODEs, we can only solve the homogeneous uh, solutions for uh, two parts. One is the constant coefficients. The other is basically the uh, Euler course equations. So we will introduce here for unsolved ODE only with the constant coefficients. Okay. Um, we can write our system is y prime equals to a y because this is the homogeneous solution. So the forcing function part is equals to zero. The solution site, let's try yh equals to x e to the lambda t. Um, the reason why I try this exponential function is because this is with constant coefficients. So we know that the solution format will look like the um, exponential function. Then what we can do is y prime equals to a y, right? So y prime equals to a y. And let's assume this by h equals to x e to the lambda t. So that is a times x e to the lambda t. And that is equals to um, lambda x e to the lambda t. Okay, and this is transformed into an eigenvalue eigenfunction uh, problem. Okay, so ax is equals to uh, lambda x, okay? Why I say this y prime equals to lambda x e to the lambda t, think about this y prime, uh, which will be just exponential for this, uh, uh, differential for this part, which is uh, y h prime will be lambda e to the lambda t and times x will be lambda x e to the lambda t here. Okay, so AX equals to lambda X, which is a standard eigenvalue, standard eigenvalue, eigenfunction problem, eigenvector problem, okay? And how to solve the eigenvalue eigenvector, which is just to solve this determinant of A minus lambda I x equals to zero. So the determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to zero to solve non-trivial solution of x. Okay. So this is how you can get the solution site. And if all the eigenvalues are distinct, So solving this is basically solving the polynomial and uh, get the root of the lambda, which is the root. Lambda is the root. And if all the roots are distinct, either they are real or complex conjugate, they are distinct. Then we can get basically lambda one to n for n's order ODE. And you will have n distinct solutions and they are linear independent. Okay, so you can construct your homogeneous solution site, so by H, T, will be equal to, then you get this nonlinear independent solution, you will um, linear combine them together to form your homogeneous solution, which will be CI, YI, 
T, and that is C I X I e to the lambda i t because that is the format you assume for the homogeneous solution and each lambda i is your eigenvalues and they are distinct okay so you can write as a, a matrices format which is x1 x2 delta to xn times c1 e to the lambda 1 t, c2 e to the lambda 2 t, delta dot n t, or c n e to the lambda n t. So lambda 1 to lambda n are the eigenvalues. x1 to xn, they are the eigenvectors, OK? Then you can write as x1, x2, delta dot to xn. And you can assume that c1 e to the lambda um, uh, one t is z one, z two, and t is z n. Okay, and that is basically z i equals two. There, z i equals to c i e to the lambda i t, and you can write this as a matrices format. Where here very familiar is our transform matrices uh, in the space construct by all the eigenvectors. So it's the P. And this is Z1 until Zn is constructed by our eigenvector, uh, eigenvalues, which is Z here. Um, so you can write this homogeneous solution as uh, eigenvector matrices, which is also called the model matrix. times the eigenvalues matrices, okay? So that is the homogeneous solution. And this is for the system when they have distinct root. Uh, there we also made the repeated root, right? So for the repeated root, if one of the roots are repeated, then you don't have enough solutions to construct this independent uh, linear solutions. Uh, what we need next will be the reduction of order to figure out what will be the, um, you know, ends or, you know, another linear independent solution. So if eigenvalue have repeated root. So if they have repeated roots, we will need the method which is called reduction of order, which we introduced before, right? I will talk about that. So using this reduction of order, we can uh, we talk about this reduction order when you have constant coefficients. And that time we say we just times x for the uh, second root that will be helpful. So let's try that one. So. First, it's called obvious choice uh, times x, basically, times x, uh, which uh, where this x is your independent variables, independent variables, OK, times x. So let's assume you have a second order ODE and you only get your like one root. Um, so let's assume, for example, why uh, we are solving this AY equals to um, Y prime, right? This is what we are trying to solve. And um, we get y1 equals to x e to the mu t, okay? And uh, with our repeated root lambda 1, 2 equals to mu. So these are the repeated root. You only get one solution. You are trying to solve, to solve the second solution, to second by 2, basically, what uh, you will use reduction of order. And we will use this obvious choice, which is times x, where here the independent variable is t, so we times t here. Okay, times t. 
So we say y2 p is equals to p times y1 p. Okay. And the y1 is x e to the mu t. So our y2 will be t times x times e to the mu t. Okay. Then what is our y2 prime based on this uh, new expression? So y2 prime will be equals to uh, this part differentiate by t will be x e to the mu t um, plus mu t x e to the mu t. Okay. So that is the differentiate of the y2 based on this ex uh, expression. Then what is y2 prime also equals to? This y2 prime t will be equals to a y2 as well, because that is the homogeneous solution for this uh, equations. Then what is a y2? So a times y2, which is t x e to the mu t, right? So this part is our y2. Then what is ax? What is ax? ax is lambda x, right? Lambda is u mu. So it's mu x times t e to the mu t. And that is mu t x e to the mu t. And you can see that this is the equation one. This is the equation two. They are all equals to y2 prime. So their right side should be also equal. That means this part. So x e to the mu t plus mu t x e to the mu t. So based on equation one equals to equation two, all equals to y2 prime. So we get x e to the mu t plus mu t x e to the mu t equals to mu t uh, x e to the mu t. So these two parts are the same. That means this part will be equals to zero. Okay. So x e to the mu t is zero. Is that possible or not? e to the mu t is that not possible? So this exponential part is non-zero. It's not zero. This x solution is non-trivial solution. Then you have non-zero times non-zero, how you can get zero. So this is impossible. That leads to our second topic,